People ask, what is it to become a, to be a breast liver chassid? What is it to be a follower of Rabbi Nachman? To learn Rabbi Nachman's teachings is one thing, but to be what's called a committed breast liver chassid, that's another thing. So, what is it to be a breast liver? So Rabbi Nachman outlines three rules that he says you have to do for everybody. And they say in breast liver, this makes up the basic three rules of what it is to be a breast liver. Just to explain the idea, it's one thing to learn Rabbi Nachman's teachings and to get a lot out of them and everything. And it's a second thing to make a commitment to be committed to these teachings, to be committed to Rabbi Nachman because of seeing the change that he's made in your life personally. So you give a commitment. So in, again, going back to Rabbi Nachman's wisdom, Rabbi Nachman gives three like guidelines as being of utmost importance. Number one, he says, the learning of Halacha, Shulchan Aruch, the code of Jewish law, Torah law, Halacha it's called, every day, no matter what. Whatever is going to happen in the day, you can have an upside down day, a normal day, but you have to see to it that the day does not finish without learning one halacha, two halachas, depends on what, but learning a, a at least one law, one or two laws. We say it, by the way, every day, at the end of davening, every morning, anyone who learns halachot, in the plural, which is minimum two, every day is guaranteed a portion in the world to come. And Rabbi Nachman stressed of the, the paramount importance of learning halacha every day. This has to be done every day. No matter what, it gives many reasons. Of them is that just like halacha clarifies what's permissible, what's forbidden, what's kosher, what's non-kosher, what's pure, what's impure, so too what the halacha does, it inside of a person also begins to clarify the convolutions and the distortions that a person has inside of himself because ultimately everything is rooted in the Torah. And by making a separation, a clarification in the root in the Torah, so it has a repercussion eventually on a person himself. So that's number one, learning Allah every day. Number two, and he stressed this very, very strongly, as everybody knows, is that the daily devotion of what's called Hitbodidut, which is talking to Hashem in your own words every day without fail. Every day, ideally, the time given for this ideally is one hour. And there's many ways how to do it, etc. There's books on it. We don't have to go into it right now. But to make sure that every day you talk to Hashem. Every day. No matter what. This conversing with Hashem is a person's key for getting things to move in life. It's the, the prayer which is coming from your heart. Not just the lip service, which is the other unfortunately type of davening where it's hard to connect to the words. So it's the, it's the lip service. Hidburidut is prayers coming from the heart. You're secluding yourself and speaking to Hashem openly. Openly like you would to a very dear friend, to someone you're very close to and intimate to, to have that connection every day no matter what, as this is the key for a person to advance and to come to and to activate whatever, anything in life, salvation, anything he needs, it's through this personal connection. And then, number three, is the importance by men. It's understood to be by men. Women, not to say that they're exempt, I'm not going to say they're exempt, but women have representatives doing that. In other words, namely their husband, or relatives, or if they're not married, their real soulmate, whoever he is. Because of the way it's set up, it's impossible for both to do it. What is it, by the way? It's to be by Rabbi Nachman's gravesite every year for Rosh Hashanah. Every year to be by Rabbi Nachman for Shoshana. In his lifetime, he stressed the absolute importance of being by him for Shoshana. Nobody should be missing. And Rav Nosin, who it's through him we understand, we know what Rabbi Nachman is about, what Rabbi Nachman wants. It's only through this disciple Rav Nosin, who did all the teachings, who did everything that we have today about from Rabbi Nachman is thanks to Rav Nosin. He explained that this also applies 
and especially more after Rabbi Nachman's passing, to be by him for Rosh Hashanah. These are the three points that make up a committed Breslev or Chassid. Rabbi Tzvi Arya Rosenfeld, he added, or you want to say, he said a very, very more important point. He said like this, when you're committed to something, you will do a self-sacrifice for it. The greatest self-sacrifice a person can do for another item is to give of themselves, to give their blood. The word in Hebrew for blood is called damim. Damim it means blood. But also damim, in the terminology of the Gemara in Aramaic, means money. When a person gives of their money to an item, towards an item, in other words, giving charity, giving tzedakah, giving of their money is tantamount to giving of their blood. So Rabbi Tzvi Rosenfeld would say when a person gives tzedakah to Breslev, to Rabbi Nachman's things, he said this is the greatest commitment that you're giving of your blood to Rabbi Nachman. And to give to Breslev, to Rabbi Nachman today, the chair of Rav, Rav Nachman Goldstein of Cheren, on his commentary to Likute Moran lesson number four, he outlines it in three parameters of how you can give tzedakah to Rabbi Nachman today after he passed away over 200 years. So he said number one, he explains there that it could be number one through giving to the publishing of the teachings of Rabbi Nachman, the teachings of the tzaddik, tzedakah towards reprinting, printing, publishing the books, the, that the message of this tzaddik should spread. Number two, supporting Torah institutions and synagogues that both learn and pray in accordance with the guidelines and teachings of Rabbi Nachman, you will see, if you will notice, if you've experienced, that a Breslev minion is very different than the average minion. And also the study session, the approach to Torah study is very different in Breslev than by other places. Also, Rabbi Nachman has a way to learn Torah, a way to apply Torah, etc. Number three, follow, to give tzedakah for the, for the followers of Rabbi Nachman's teachings, to support them, that they can, with a clear head, dedicate their lives to Rabbi Nachman's teachings. Because in the main people who throw themselves in totally to follow Rabbi Nachman's teachings, they need help. Especially, for example, uh, the idea of coming to Eretz Yisrael, which the Gemara already says that Eretz Yisrael is acquired through suffering. And it's understood that living here in Eretz Yisrael is not easy. So support of followers of Rabbi Nachman's teachings, people who are trying to live totally and have given their whole life to follow Rabbi Nachman's teachings. So giving tzedakah also to help them is also in the category of giving tzedakah and charity to Rabbi Nachman. In a nutshell, these are the three from Rabbi Nachman and just Rav Rosenfeld gave this also very important point of giving tzedakah. <coughs> Rav Nosen and the Breslov Hasidim, they added another three, such as going to the mikveh daily, and reciting the Tikkun HaKlali every day, and by men putting on Rabbeinu Tam Tefillin. That again, it's more limited, and it's again, it applies more to men, but the first three, again, also Rosh Hashanah is for men also, but it's a universal three rules, six rules, seven rules, of what it is to be a breast liver. And the bottom line is, it's commitment. Not just learning the books, but to commit oneself to them. Thank you.